Oh, don't worry, honey, she'd say to him. It's only harassment if I don't like it, <laughs> she'd say. Winking at me, I got an insta hard on every time she walked into the room. Now, I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. It gets a little dry here. We're going to... You're going to have all the action, yes. We'll get back to that. I got to my aunt's house, and I spritzed on a little cologne before going in. I rang the doorbell, and she answered, wearing nothing but this hot, yellow, silky robe. My cock was already erecting itself in my pants. <laughs> she looked down and noticed the bulge. Why are you always so horny? She asked as she seductively walked over to me. Because you're around, I answered boldly. <laughs> she walked to me, pressing her body against mine before sliding down to her knees. She undid my pants and began jerking and licking my cock. <laughs> oh, that's so hot. I whispered as I felt her hot tongue against my meat. <laughs> we moved into the sitting room and she lay back on the couch spreading her legs for me. You're gonna have to eat my muffin before you go in, she said as she touched herself. I eagerly brought my face into her crotch and began licking it liberally. Ah, oh, you taste so good, I said between licks. Are you right there, she moaned as my upper lip brushed against her clit. As I was licking her pussy, she began to moan like crazy, squirming around. I need the cock, she cried out. Give it to me. She held her pussy lips open for me and told me to penetrate her. Gladly, I said a low voice. <laughs> My cock was still wet from her sucking on it, and I rubbed it slowly as I bent over and stuck it in between her open flaps and gave it a good shove. We both moaned loudly as my cock entered her. Oh yes, she cried out, jerking her pelvis forward. That's it, tight there, push. I'm reading this as written, it says tight there. I shoved my cock so deep up her cunt that she squealed. I pulled it out and rammed it in and all over again. Oh wow, oh god, she moaned, grunting periodically as I gave it to her. After a few more thrusts, cum burst out of my cock and shot up her creamy twat. Oh yeah, fuck. I groaned as I shoved my cock deep into her. I couldn't stop coming. It was like years of stored cum devoted to her. Rushing out at this very moment. This is the longest orgasm I've ever had. I groaned as I began to finish up. I could feel the last few drops spurting out of me and waited a few seconds before pulling out of her. Mm, that was some good sex. My pussy hasn't been worked like that in years, she whispered. Well, any time your pussy needs a workout, I'd be glad to be to help out, I said. Again, reading as written. I said, smiling at her flirtatiously. I looked down at her dripping wet cunt, and I knew that I'd be hard again within the next minute. <laughs> Dear Aunt Alice, Kiki family, I recommend you pick it up. It's one of my professor pages. Get back to the world. Well, that was some fucked up shit, right? What the hell was that? <laughs> now that we've popped the cherry on the pornography subjugation, uh, do we have any porno fans in the audience tonight? Yes. All right. We go. You like this then? Don't need those anymore either. Well, um. Porno is a weird, a weird thing these days, guys. Um, it's very mainstream. It's like pop culture. Porno is pop culture. It's it's come around. It's the uh, it's so accessible nowadays, right? I mean, like, what do you have to do to get some porn? You get yourself a laptop and a bit booty boop bop. You got yourself a beaver party. It's just that fucking simple. But it wasn't like this when I was a kid. Back in the 1980s. Uh, I had to become like a perverted Sherlock Holmes, breaking out my spyglass, trying to find my dad's secret porno stash of VHS tapes. <laughs> and even if I found them, it wasn't like I got access to them all the time. I had to think this shit out, right? I had to plan. I had to be like, wait a minute. 
Family's going to the movies on Thursday. If I fake a sore throat, I can get some alone time with that porn. Yeah. And there's so many genres of it these days. It's just, there's so many, um, different kinds of porn. We got, uh, what do we got? We got tranny porn, granny porn, water sports, bukkake. All kinds of fucked up shit. The kind of shit that would make the Roman Emperor Caligula walk into a room and go, Quies in Kaili, sanctificator in nomen tum. Oh, you guys don't speak ancient Latin, that's my bad. Um, he would come in and go, this is some fucked up shit you guys are doing right here. And this is the guy that used to stick his fist up people's asses for fun. So it's some fucked up shit. Let's examine it a little bit. I started off with tranny porn. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it really myself. I don't, I don't really enjoy the tranny porn. Uh, I have nothing against the, the she-males, chicks with dicks, I call them dudes with boobs, whatever, same thing. Um, I'm not getting down on transgender, if you're like a person stuck in a man's body, get a sex change, that's fine. My issue is with the people that fucking stop halfway. Who's like, alright, I got the boob job, I think I'm gonna keep the dick. <laughs> you know, I'll make some training porn, make some money with it. Yeah. It's not my thing. I think the, uh, the she-male is my big problem. They just want to have their cock and eat it, too, you know. <laughs> what was the next one on the list? Oh, um, granny porn. Moving on. <laughs> right? Hey, folks, there's a little thing in comedy called research. I'm just not willing to put it in on that one. Uh, water sports. Okay, water sports. This is porno. This is people that like to watch people peeing on people getting peed on while they're peeing on people, whatever. Um, I got peed on once. Once. I was a kid, 13 years old. A buddy was up ahead on a bridge, and he just started whizzing right the fuck on my head. It did not turn me on. I, I gotta tell you, I don't know what it did for him, but he moved to San Francisco, works at kind of a different kind of bar, so I don't know. Bukake. Yeah. I had to get there. Don't worry, I'm not going to say much about it. I'm always interested, though. I like to pause and say it, because every now and again, some guy will just scream his fucking head off when I say bukake. <laughs> Love to be that guy's girlfriend. <laughs> um, all I'll say about bukake is this is porno for people that like to jerk off and throw up at the same time. Yeah. Ooh, I know. I love the grunts. That one gets pretty gross. Another kind of a genre I just bring up right quick. I don't know. It's kind of new, I think. It's called Cruelty Party. I don't know if anyone here is familiar with this, but I'll explain it to you. What happens is these four or five, like, mean, evil bitches, right? They're bitches. They get this poor schmo, and then they, like, tie him to a bed or to a floor, and then all four or five of them just fuck the shit out of him. The poor bastard. I mean, one's down, she's just riding away all on his dick. You got another one up rubbing her pussy all on his face, on his nose. Somebody's dripping candle wax down on his toes. There's a lot of nipple licking going on, I can tell you that. All I'm saying is, I dare you evil, cruel bitches to try this with the Reverend Mike Orko. <laughs> Seriously, I can, you know, it's on my business card, actually. I'm available for cruelty parties. I'm, yeah, I'm ready. I'm open. I'm available. And I'm not just speaking out of my ass here, folks. I actually worked in the sex industry for quite some time. I did. I was a clerk in a porno shop. Not that glamorous, but some interesting weird shit did happen fairly often. Um, and I'm a regular guy. Hey, I like watching a chick catch a load in the face. That's, that's fun stuff. I like that as much as the next fellow. But a lot of these guys coming in here were just way too into porn. They would spend three or four hours trying to figure out what dirty movie they were gonna jerk off to that night. And they'd be looking at, you know, the synopses, all the movies, checking them over. What do we have here? Ooh, what's this one? Stick it in my gaping asshole. Oh, I do love gaping asshole movies. But you know, we'll put it in the Mindy pile. We'll keep looking. We'll see what else they have. What's over here? Big Boob Bonanza, part three. Yeah, well, I haven't seen Big Boob Bonanza, part one or two. I'll be lost if I get that one. <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this one? Hockey Moms Get Pucked. Yes, it finally came out. 
<laughs> he grabs it, brings it up to me. I'm back in, uh, literally in a cage. That's where they kept me in the store. Um, he puts it down in front of me, looks at me, and goes, Hey, man, how's this one? Because, folks, you know, I worked there just so I could watch all the porn that I wanted to. That was, that was why I was there. Um, no, I handled it like this. I would usually go, oh, what do you have there? Hockey moms get pucks. You see, I'm stuck on the trilogy, you know, the big boob bonanza. I'm still on part two, trying to get through to part three. And when I'm done, I'll get you a full report on hockey moms get pucked. But I think I can give you a spoiler. There's people fucking in it. <laughs> I did have entertainment options, though. And, and I, again, I didn't watch porn. I liked watching cartoons, stuff like that. Uh, I really liked watching Dragon Ball Z while I was working. Woo! Anybody like Dragon Ball Z? Yeah! It's a good show, classic anime. Well, it passed a lot of time. And uh, the thing about Dragon Ball Z is it may be the gruntiest show ever made. There's a whole lot of going on in this show. And the people on the floor, they could hear what I'm watching, but they couldn't see what I was watching. So I can understand if maybe they thought I was watching some porn. But uh, the big problem, again, the grunting, all of it was coming from the male characters, Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, that uh, they didn't just think I was watching porn, they thought I was watching gay porn. So I get lots of dudes coming up to the counter being like, hey, what are you watching back there? Like, I'm watching Dragon Ball Z, it's the fucking Frieza saga. Goku's about to go Super Saiyan, Krillin just died, do you fucking mind? I'll give you a fucking Kamehameha wave. <laughs> Take that shit seriously. That was a beautiful thing. Porno shop. Yeah, not much for customer service. Yeah, I'll help you as soon as I'm done goofing off. Another time, this guy's in the shop, and he seemed pretty innocuous, as they do. And I'm uh, just minding my own in the cage. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just goes, Hey, man, y'all got some gay-ass shit up in here. And I'm like, well, sir, you might want to consider you are in the gay-ass section of the store. <laughs> but the thing that blows my mind is he's telling me, like, I didn't fucking know. Like, I just managed to miss it. He's bringing some news to my attention. I'm going to come out from behind my cage and just be like, gay-ass, what are you talking about? Oh, my God. All these guys are sucking each other's dicks. When did this happen? Anus everywhere. But the other thing that bothered me quite a lot was the hypocrisy of the situation. The guy's in a porno shop, right? He's got no problem with porn. Straight porn's okay, but gay porn, ooh, this really offended him. And today, this man is the governor of Florida. Yeah. Cheapy, cheapy, I like it. But, uh, you know, that was the fellas. The fellas came in for that sort of thing, but uh, the ladies would come in too. And that was a bit of a refreshing thing, you know? You know, dealing with the parade of perverts all day. It was nice to see a female pop up. <laughs> and they were looking for toys, right? They were looking for vibrators, for dildos. And uh, usually they were pretty timid, but sometimes they need a little help. But, you know, there's a wide variety of dildo today. There's the, the bouncing beaver, the, the angelating monkey, the screaming, double penetrating dolphin of doom. I think I'm making that up, don't you? Fuck, I used to have to fill out an order for that. I had to order the screaming, penetrating golf room to do yeah. So, you know, sometimes they needed a little bit of my help, but most of the time, and any of you fellas, ladies, kind of like to be left alone in porno shops. But every now and again, some lady would just kind of kick open the door, look around and go, I want the biggest goddamn dildo you got up in this bitch. <laughs> and that's when I turned it on. That's when I'm like, hey, I'm your dildo man. That's what I am. Let me bring you over here. Let me show you this. This is called the Ram Bone. This is, it's so fucking heavy, we can't even hang it on a hook. It's just in the corner of the store. This is 20 pounds of cock for you, size queen. You take this and put it in your giant vagina. Because, you know, again, it was fun. And the fellas also were interested in the little pills we sold. Sometimes they would like that, you know, the, the pills they advertise on TV. They'd be up to me, they'd come up, they'd be like, hey man, these pills, they work, they're good. They make your shit big, they make it bigger, they make it grow. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it works. I got some magic beans here for you, too. <laughs> Buy that. And then inevitably, they'd always ask me, well, have you ever tried it? Have you ever used these? And I'd always say very smugly, no, I don't need to. 
But of course they're thinking I'm some virile macho man when the fact of the matter is I just never get fucking laid. So, <laughs> I don't need that shit. All right. Enough with the porn. I'd like to sing a little more maybe. Um, do we have any Friends fans in the audience? Yeah. I'm talking the TV show here. I, I mean, I hope you're, you're fans of your friends. Otherwise, why would they be your friends? But uh, yeah, man, the TV show Friends. Uh, I had a little dream once upon a time that uh, one of my favorite metal bands, Pantera. Woo. Pantera, anything for them? Pantera, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, what if, you know, I got wondering, what if Pantera did their version of the Friends theme song? What would that be like? <laughs> So no one told your life was gonna be this way. Your child's a joke, you broke your love life's DOA. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. When has it been your day, your week, your month, or even your year? I will be there for you. Like I've been there before, I will be there for you, cause you're there for me too. <laughs> now let's go play in the fountain. And the Red Mike Gorgo, thanks a lot you guys, thanks Tallahassee. Thank you Halloween, don't you forget about me, I won't forget about you. Good night everybody. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. Every Wednesday night we have a free comedy show here. It's around the same time. Different people will mix it up a little bit. We hope you can come back out.